We're here in uh, Miami Beach, Florida at the uh, first ever Billfish uh, tournament. It's carbon neutral. For this group down here to step up and have the world's first carbon neutral uh, fishing tournament is it's, it's it's significant. I mean, it sends a message, I think, to um, to other folks all around the country. We're actually taking physically taking methane out of the atmosphere, and it's a bad gas. Twenty three times more powerful in global warming effects than carbon dioxide. So we're actually carbon negative. We're taking more methane out than the carbon we're putting in. Hopefully sooner than later, everybody's going to at least understand there's something happening. If you think about it, here we have, we're out in the ocean. This water on average is more than one degree down to 60 meters. And that's an enormous amount of energy stored up in the ocean. If you, if you destroy the quality of the water right here next to us, and some microorganism doesn't live, a shrimp can't feed, and if the shrimp can't feed, the snapper can't feed, the snapper can't feed, the bird can't feed, it all, all is interconnected. They're seeing the, the changes from uh, the impacts from global warming, you know, out in the places where they hunt. You know, sportsmen down here um, who are saltwater fishing are seeing impacts on the species that they fish for. Um, sportsmen up in the, in the mountains of, of uh, North Carolina and North Georgia and out in the Rockies are seeing impacts to cold water species like trout, um, salmon out on the west coast. It's what I like to do and I want to be able to do it for a long time. I want my, my kids to be able to do it too. One of the, the key messages in all this is that, that we can still enjoy uh, nature, we can still uh, fish the way we always have, but we need to take steps to uh, you know, pay for those carbon credits to offset our carbon. Uh, but more importantly than that, we also need to work together to get a federal bill passed to stop global warming, one that has uh, funding in it for wildlife and fisheries, uh, one that helps us to uh, mitigate the damages that we're already going to see. We're looking to see about an 80% uh, reduction of carbon emissions uh, over the next 40 years, about 2% a year. Good job! Good job, guys! Yeah! Woo! I didn't do it! Good job! Hell yeah! Oh, God.